start your engines and get ready to power up for a quick win from the Savvy Scribe team. Carol Bush and Janine Kelbeck are here to take your freelance healthcare writing business to the next level with this powerful quick win on the Savvy Scribe podcast. Hi, Savvy Scribe. This is Carol. You know what? The idea of working from home can definitely be idyllic, but For those of us who have taken the plunge, the reality of going solo can quickly turn really scary. So whether you're a mom, a dad, or a crazy meemaw like me, there are plenty of challenges we face as a home worker. Thankfully, my pal Janine, co-host of the Savvy Scribe podcast, has got some great hacks that will give you a little dose of home working heaven in today's quick win. So let's start the episode I can't wait for you to hear her four things that make my mom life easier. Personally, I like number three. Hello, everybody. This is Janine Kelbach, the co-host of the Savvy Scribe podcast. In today's quick win, I'm going to share four things that have made my freelance mom life easier. And this episode is not just for parents trying to run a business, but for anybody who has a personal life outside of work. So that's hopefully everyone. Let's jump into this episode and get started. So the first thing I have done is I have a planning app for my meals at home. Who has time to stand at the grocery store trying to figure out what to eat that day or for the rest of the week? Well, not me. So I actually use an app called eMeals for my family's meals, as well as good old Pinterest, whatever meals look good to me or recipes I pin or, you know, we get bored easily in my family. So we try different meals and I actually love to cook. So I make this giant list of meals and recipes. I categorize them and I pick three to four a week, every single week. So do you know how easy this makes for my grocery planning? And we save so much more money than just wandering around the grocery store. So the Next thing that not only saves us money, but so much time is I get my groceries delivered. Those of you who know me know that I am far from a lazy person. I work out a lot. I complete races or fitness challenges every year. I promote fitness for my kids. And honestly, I cannot tolerate laziness. So that being said, there can't be much of a lazier thing than I do. Than ordering my groceries online. But let me tell you what a time saver it is. Last year, I started with using Walmart grocery pickup in the winter. I ordered groceries in the morning and while my kids were eating their breakfast, and then I would pick them up later on, either when I got home from school or if they were just home on break, we'd all hop in the car and we'd go get groceries. And let me tell you, my 14 year old was so funny. He goes, mom, this is probably the laziest day we ever had. We went to McDonald's drive through did a mobile order, picked it up, and then did our grocery pickup. And I'm like, oh my gosh, we got to go to the gym or something after this. <laughs> so that's what I do. That's I've never had to step foot in the store. So now Aldi does grocery delivery by me. So for a whole $7, you better believe I jumped on board with that. It was the best decision ever, especially those with little ones that you have to pack into the cart, push the cart through the blustery parking lot. Like it's winter time right now in Ohio. So we like push the cart and it's in slush and it's just disgusting. The kids are crying. It's never fun. So it's not something I love. And now I don't have to do it. So Success tip for you high-performing savvy scribes, I want you to think of things in your home that you absolutely hate doing. That would be for me, the um, cleaning and the grocery shopping. Start to outsource those things, and I promise you, it will pay off. So let's jump back in. The third thing is something called the Sunday folder. Again, with the craziness of the mom life, freelance life, still being a nurse at the hospital setting, paying my bills, the extra mail, all that keeps piling up. Recently, my husband and I started this concept of a Sunday folder. Sometimes it turns into the Monday folder, but we try to do it once a week and we just try to look at our Sunday folder. Inside the Sunday folder contains mail from the week that's important. Usually if you're getting something via snail mail, it's never an urgent, urgent thing because it's in the mail. So 
since we've done this, the way it works, okay, we get the mail every day. I sort through it quickly, throw out all the junk, which is most of it, let's be honest. And the rest of it goes into the Sunday folder because it's, again, just not that urgent. So we haven't run into an overpaid bill or a late document since we started this over a year ago now. The final thing, the fourth thing is an envelope system. So one of the best things we also do to manage our money is the envelope system. Dave Ramsey coined the term and we use it, but in a different way in our home. To give a little background, we have three different bank accounts. One is a savings account at my husband's work where he works. He works at a bank. Our checking is at his old bank that he used to work for, but I have my business account over there as well. So I have a business checking and a regular checking, and then we have a savings. A thousand dollars of my paycheck goes into a mortgage account. So I guess that's four accounts. So I don't even, I don't even see it like in my paycheck at all. It goes straight to that account so that our mortgage is always paid. At the end of the month, I go to the bank account and I withdraw money for envelopes. Those envelopes we have in the house are for car insurance, vacation, childcare, repairs, and for the car and gifts. Those envelopes, they, they do, they add up quickly. You have to, you have to decipher how much you want in each envelope every month. And again, you just take the withdrawal, section it up into those envelopes, and then just don't look at it again until you need stuff out of that envelope. Um, we also save money by, we buy gas cards at our local gas station at Speedway, and you get points. We go through those so that I don't pay for gas. I just use the gas card every time I get gas in the car. And then at the end of the month, I go buy more gas cards and we get points on our speedy card so that at the end you get extra gift cards. So that's usually what I do in Christmas time. I give those to my nieces and nephews or my son and I didn't have to pay for the card. Recently, when someone asked me what are some of the things I do to manage my freelance mom life, these are the four things that came to mind. So managing the house, the business, a part-time job, a husband and kids sounds overwhelming and, and it sure can be at times, but you have to start putting systems in place and everyone in the house to work as a team to get things done. So in the end, we learn to get things done and enjoy life at the same time. So I want to hear from you guys. Tell me, how do you delegate or use time in your business wisely? I want to hear. Go to healthcaremarketingnetwork.com and leave us a message. We want to hear your voice on a future episode of The Savvy Scribe. Check out the show notes for these tips and more. And now, take this quick win and go. Get your right on. Take care, guys. <laughs>